Hey everybody, my name is Rahul and in this video we would be executing a project. Now the project is about config reviews. This project will help you learn a new skill and could be your first step towards cloud security. This is a skill that you can put in your resume as well. So let's get started. Let's suppose that there is a company. Now back in the day, all the tech stack that the company used was deployed on premises. But these days, thanks to AWS, GCP and Azure, they can be deployed on cloud. So in cloud, the company might have a firewall, a load balancer, web servers, EC2 instances and whatnot. So using cloud config review, what we do is we check for misconfigurations in either of these services and put out any vulnerabilities in a report. So this is what config review is all about. You can do a cloud config review for AWS, for Azure and for GCP as well. In this video, we will be using AWS because it's used by most of the startups and tech giants. So let's get started. So first of all, what you would need to do is you would need a AWS free tier account. Now, if you have an AWS account, well and good, you can skip this section. But if you do not have, you can spin up your own AWS environment by using AWS free tier services. Now these give you access to a lot of services, for example, EC2 instances, Amazon S3 buckets, RDS instances. So you can make use of this to learn about AWS and then get started with this. Now there are a lot of tools that you can use for your help. Now if you are a pro, you can also learn about uh, misconfigurations by manually going to each and every service. But this won't help you in the long run because each service might have multiple instances and you do not want to go down that path because it will cost you a lot of time. So in this case, what you can do is you can make use of certain tools. These tools could be like uh, Steampipe, Prowler or others. So I'll be using Prowler because it gives you a lot of verbose output. You can be sure that you do not miss out on anything. So first of all, what you would need to do is you might want to go to AWS dashboard, search for IAM service, and once that has been done, you might want to create a new user. You can create a new user using the create user button. Once that has been done, you might want to navigate to the security credentials tab and you might want to create an access key. What this does is once the access key has been created, you can use those access keys to run a automated scan. But for that, you might also want to give certain permissions to your user because if your user does not have permissions that tool will not be able to access any service to check for misconfigurations now what i have done here is i have given the user which was test steam pipe that i had originally created i have given it read only access and administrative access so this is a security misconfiguration because you do not want to give administrator access to any user. Be very careful to whom you give this access. To give access, all you need to do is click on add permissions and click on add permissions. And here you can look and search for permissions. For example, I am clicking on attach permissions or policies directly and look for admin. And as you can see, there are a lot of permissions that you can uh, provide your user. Once that has been done, click on the next button and you will be good to go now once that has been done the next thing that you will have to do is you will have to set up aws cli on your laptop or desktop if you have windows linux or mac doesn't matter you can set up uh, aws cli anywhere once that has been set up you want to make use of those access keys so uh, here is the user steam pipe here are uh, the security credentials that you have created by clicking on create access keys. Now it gives you two values that you might want to use. So you will have to type in AWS configure and you might want to provide your access key and the secret access key. So once that has been done, what you need to do is install Prowler. So Prowler can be installed by using pip3 install Prowler. Now pip doesn't work for some reason on my laptop, but you can try pip3 as well or pip install prowler whatever works for you once that is done as you can see prowler gets installed after that what you might want to do is just type in prowler aws now what this will do is it tells prowler that this is aws that you want to run a scan against and once that has been done prowler will run the scan and will give you a verbose output now this is not it it saves three files a csv and html file so 
you can also open that file and as you can see this is the output now this gives you a lot of failed checks and what checks passed so you can make use of this to find out what misconfiguration is there in your aws account so as you can see the status is fail severity is medium name of the service is ecr so this is what you can typically do now you, you also have a lot of filters because you might not be using certain services and you might want to exclude them so you can also do that with the help of these filters so i hope this was of some use to you all the best